Welcome back, folks, to the lovely and peaceful city of Onet, where nothing wrong is going on, everything is peachy, everything is fine, no problem here, aliens are not invading, there are no meteorites and, and mosquitoes from the future, and, and nobody has been going around killing the local animal populace by bashing their skulls with a baseball bat, no siree, nothing is wrong here, trust your government. A cover-up, you say? What's that? <laughs> yes, welcome back, folks, to No Problem Town here. Well, this is our protagonist, Potsy. Yeah, Potsy. Good old Potsy. And he just came out of the drugstore just a couple of moments yes. ago. Yes. And the burger shop, no less. Yes, and he tends to occasionally get in the way of vans. Oh. As in, li as in, literally in the way. <laughs> we have we have a salary man over here. You he look looks so helpless. Are you okay? Uh, 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 oh, you cannot talk, you poor kid. Here, let me accompany you to the local shelter. <laughs> I don't like this. Good and strong. The kids of Ornette. B H Perkle. And look at the strange thing to put on a billboard. Yeah, especially this picture here of, of the person in question. Hey, it kind of looks like a cross between Charles Chaplin and Oliver Hardy. <laughs> That's a... <laughs> oh my gosh, we could invade people's houses. No, this is a more familiar JRPG scenario. Rare from a near figure about half like I have a hint. Um... um... Yes? yes? Well, why don't you get a hint from the next house? Oh, gee, thanks a lot! You are as useless as you are fat! Thank you. <laughs> um... <laughs> <laughs> um... <laughs> so, um, hint guy, is business booming around here? <laughs> uh, do you also sell lemonades with your hints? <laughs> do you have a psychotherapy session with a little girl from Peanuts, maybe? Uh, do, 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 do you see a boy named Charlie? Second name Brown? <laughs> is he a regular? <laughs> <laughs> okay, how old is this guy? This, this thing, this stand here would be too silly for a five years old kid. <laughs> really? <laughs> what is this? I want to know two things. One, is this like, is this like a homage to Charlie Brown? And two, why is it inside a bloody house? Yes, that doesn't make any sense. Now that's the thing that bothers me about this. No, also, problem, no problem here. Dude. I meant the sign, Ness. I mean, Potsy. Okay, mate. Maybe... <laughs> How about this? Okay, talk to the hint guy. <laughs> now wait a minute, youngster. Aren't you too old for the hint box? <laughs> I could give you a great hint for just thirty-five dollars. This is a highway robbery. Screw you. Uh, no. No, we don't. Know, we we just don't have that much money. Well, you could actually retrieve money from the ATM machine. Uh, no, we're not gonna waste money on the hints. Well, definitely not on hints, but, you know, on hamburgers, so you don't have to retreat them from the trash can. You know? <laughs> like you did last time. Oh, but that was such a great moment for Potsy. Help wanted. Policemen to close roads. On it. <laughs> you never have enough policemen to close off roads, apparently. <laughs> oh man, this is five minutes in already I'm having the time of my life with this game. <laughs> Are you Potsy? My son said something about going to a hideout. I don't know what he was talking about. Uh, thank you, door. Yes, doorway. <laughs> oh my gosh, this woman. Oh, uh, oh, oh boy. Do all women look like the Joker in this town? This town, this town is... is out of, this town is out of control! The wild boys are hanging out in the town! The wild boys? Oh no! 
And the cops have really been cracking down on everyone. Uh, no, I think what you meant to say was the cops have been crap, crap, cracking down on every road. <laughs> Mistranslated. Yes, I know. I'm considering moving to Tucson. Tucson. Really? A town in the south what? of Eagle Land. Which, come to think of it, Eagle Land is clearly a metaphorical... What's with this thing. hat? What the freaking... Uh, hello there, Bandit Steve. Mr. Liar X Argaret, the treasure hunter, finally found something interesting. I heard he will only show it to you. So? We've already saw it. Where, where did you hear that? That's what I want to know. No, I don't want to talk to the cactus. I want to check it. Ow! Oh, no problem here. Also, ouch! Ouch! <laughs> ouch! Ouch! The spike in my finger. I wonder how big this town is. Oh my gosh. Oh, hi there, Luffy. I, I wonder if Earthbound has been released in- Oh, screw you! <laughs> screw you! <laughs> what, 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 go what? burning hell! I take it you're not a fan of those sort of meta jokes. If there's a joke, I might laugh at it. But that was not even a joke, that was- an acknowledgement. <laughs> that was masturbation, basically. <laughs> that was the game masturbating on itself. <laughs> to use a colorful analogy. Who, who, who's that? It's creepy in here. What? You won't answer? Uh, um, he's, he's mute. Anyway. Oh, kill that dog! Kill it! Bash it in the head! Blood! Gore! Guts and violence! Yeah! Oh gosh, we're really doing this, aren't we? <laughs> we're feeding Potsy's uh, psycho driven madness, aren't hey, we? He already sees marijuana in the background of every random encounter, his mind is already gone. And this has suddenly become reefer madness. Marijuana! Don't wander this far away from town. Fresh breeze movement. What the freak? Who is the fresh breeze movement? The people. Who is who is B H Perkle? The mayor oh. is proud of the people of Onet. Oh, it's the mayor. So this. Oh my hey, gosh! Come on. Well, that dog was really happy to see us. He's happy to die, apparently. Oh my gosh. We're, it... we're, going, we're going to receive so many complaints from the uh, WWF. Yes, and Peter. Is any of that even important? Hey! Uh, Peter is going to give us a blood shower any time now. And the, and the RSPCA of my country will, will, be, will, will be rushing to be arresting me for hurting a virtual dog. That sounds about right. Oh, oh, a oh that's station. good. Bother, that's good. Bother, the, the really, really small police station that's bigger on the inside. <laughs> this is so weird. I would rather be working as a parking meter cop. It's just too busy lately. I'm sick of it. And how about you? Man, I am steamed. Don't even try talking to me. Okay, uh, we just wasted a couple of seconds on this guy. Uh, a chief. couple of seconds, I will never get back. Okay, Chief, uh, whose badge have you taken today? <laughs> Wait, no, that doesn't work. He's not black, he's white. I don't get why. Yeah, he, has to be, he has to be black to be the angry uh, commissioner guy. Really? That, I thought that it could takes... be... Really? No, it's not. It's the stereotype. The precise stereotype as the Chief being black and angry. I thought it was both colors. You know, it's most unfortunately it's mostly black. Really, I've seen. I could have sworn oh, I saw I equal I numbers. Swear, I swear to you, I've seen more movies in which the chief was black rather than white. All right, I'll take your word on it, but it's kind of a stereotype in its own right. The townspeople are in a state of confusion. At times like this, riots break out or people start acting wild. So we police are being ultra cautious. Ultra cautious. <laughs> it's not just cautious. It's ultra cautious. That's <laughs> ultra cautious. Okay. Can I go I like this way? Oh. Oh, hey guys, you have a prisoner out of his cell. Psst. I'm 
not really one of the gang. I'm a cop. Even if I don't look it like it. Okay, we we're just going to take your word for it. Can we enter the cell? This no. is a jail. You guys have no business being here. Hey, I'm in here. Go find another can. Ha! I was just joking. So we are visiting an actual police department. Yeah, this is... Uh, which is really... Okay, empty. what is the purpose of this extra room? Really? I have no clue. It's like... Oh, they have a big empty room for no reason. Maybe... Maybe a reason will come up later on in the game. Maybe. Ooh, a bakery! Ooh! Okay, what are you Okay, it's a, it's a bakery. Uh, thank you for confirming that once we entered. I want to tell <laughs> you this. Big words, bakery, written on the inside as well. <laughs> That's handy. I want to tell you the story of the creature from the vegetable soup. <laughs> but I won't because I don't want to bother you with a story. That has nothing uh, to do with your adventure. Uh, if I keep talking about unrelated stuff, you might start ignoring important messages. <laughs> it's important uh, for you to talk to people. Also, a person might give you a different message, depending on when you speak to them. <laughs> uh, Will you give me uh, a that, that was funny, I guess? Thank you for taking the time to talk to me again! <laughs> ah, so, so you see what I mean. It's important to take the time out to talk with many people. You know, I'm starting to think we shouldn't talk to anyone. Yes. Okay. Oh, we can buy cookies, bread rolls. We could skip sandwich. We could skip a sandwich, apparently. <laughs> we can have a lucky sandwich. Oh my crap. You know what? Uh, you can get a bread roll. A bread roll is $12, man. You can retrieve money from the ATM machine. You have them in your bank account, remember? Yes, I know. Remember, remember. I remember. Remember, remember. But, but we gotta think about saving. Oh my gosh, it's What the heck? Okay, and the town has been suddenly invaded by ninja, apparently. No problem here. No problem at all. <laughs> what the <laughs> freaking <laughs> This is the dumbest. <laughs> This is... <laughs> Guys, I think I'm going to say it for everyone here that these are the most evilest people I've ever come across. Okay, the, okay, okay. It it looks like uh, <laughs> it looks like an alien rainbow jizzed all over a couple of ninety skids. <laughs> Oh, really? And what's the deal with that purple kid? Uh, with the freaking hula hoop which looks like a striped candy? <laughs> what's going on here? What is this? They're committing atrocities, man. We gotta bash their heads in. Yes, man, Juni. And skate, skate punk? punk? <laughs> oh my god. Is this the gang that they were all talking about? They were, they were all worried about? You're almost dead. Oh gosh, I think I might be... Oh, thank god. Oh no! And I lost the battle. Well then. What the... Potsy. Potsy. It looks like you got your head handed to you. So how about just giving it a shot? Yes. yes. Potsy decided to return after summoning all the courage and energy he had. Good luck! Says... O'Reilly. This is kind of creepy, this part. Ah, uh, well, this game can be unexpectedly dark at times. Mostly unintentionally, to be okay, honest. Okay, we didn't pick anything up, did we, while we were... Ah, uh, yes, uh, there is the hamburger in the trash can. The all-important hamburger in the trash can. Never forget about the hamburger in the trash can. Did you remember to get the, um, the hamburger in the <laughs> trash can already? <laughs> yes, I got it. Okay. Uh, okay, what's over there? The drugstore is to the east. East is the opposite of west. Uh, uh, I have no idea who that was. Uh, a girl named Double lives in Tucson. Oh. Her mother runs a preschool out of their home. Hey, it's the other heroine. 
I can't remember the name of the school, but I heard Dubba's really special. Yeah, she's your love interest. Why is she special? I forgot to ask. Oh well. Because her name is Dubba. Only a special kid will be named Dubba. <laughs> if you're trying to sell us the newspaper, go away. We don't read the paper. You don't look like you're living in an accommodation that actually requires paper. And we it's don't want like any in. And we don't want any milk either. Or newspaper milks. We don't want any human interaction whatsoever. This is this this town. Uh, okay, this looks like a, a normal everyday kid. Nah. Sea Hall to the east, you know, where the sun rises. Okay. Well, this guy. Moving on. This guy has uh, a. Uh, right. Right, right. Okay, we have this lady here. I moved here from the way, way, way away next town. The next town, there is the. What is the name? Uh, Polar Star Preschool. The preschool uh? is at Dubber's house. Oh. Dubber uses. What is it called? Uh, magic. Uh, is magic a common knowledge in this universe? I'm sorry, I'm a bit confused. Yes, I'm, I'm starting to question this myself, actually. Oh, no one's here. Well... Let's take over the house! <laughs> if only. Oh, look, it's the... Oh my gosh, is that Big Pen? The point overlooking the sea has beautiful scenery. It's over that way. It's that way. Oh, it, it looks exactly like Big Ben. Okay, this confirms this game takes a lot of inspiration from uh, Charles M. Schultz's Peanuts. And I am definitely okay with that. Oh. Also, also Batman, according to the, to the freaking Joker women in this <laughs> Hello, and you are? Uh, say, have you ever suffered from some type of sickness or condition that Well, you I never get... heard a kind of creepy smile, that's for sure. That you couldn't get cured at the hospital? Yeah, your face. For example, being diamondized. What the? Where your head gets as hard as a diamond. Or mushroomized, where you have a mushroom on your head. You mean you turn into a, a power up for Super Mario I Brothers? I think they're talking about status effects. If you're stuck with these types of embarrassing conditions, we of the Magic Healing Shrine are here to ease your pain. You mean hospital, right? It said hospital outside. Oh, oh my gosh, is this a facade? I may not believe it, I'm a healer. If you have Wait, to... wait, wait, do you... Do you have cat ears? <laughs> I think it might be his hair. If oh, you, if you oh, have... thank you. oh, thank god. If you have some illnesses that, that cannot be treated at the hospital, it's my job to cure you. Do you need some help? No. no not right now, no. No, no not really. Uh, let's talk to the nurse... Joy here, nurse, not joy. Uh -huh. I'm not busy right now. So go away. <laughs> Shall I explain the hospital system? Do we need to? Uh, maybe. If a good friend of yours becomes unconscious, come to the hospital right away. As oh. long as you have money for the doctor's fee, you'll be able to see your friend completely recovered in no time. Besides, okay. being unconscious whenever you don't feel so well, come talk to the doctor. Everything I just told you applies to hospitals all over the world. So, so hospitals, structures made for the specific purpose of curing people and preventing them from dying, is a structure for bringing people back to life. Makes sense to me. Yep, definitely makes sense to me as well. I mean, if you can bring back people from the dead in a church in Dragon Quest, <laughs> Yeah, really. When I came to visit my friend at the hospital, I somehow slipped and fell in the hallway. So now I'm staying at the hospital too. This could be the basis for a great tragic tearjerker. Well, maybe not. Oh, these NPCs are so quirky, aren't they? Yes, yeah, they're so weird. And are you actually sick? Uh, okay, you run the plane apparently. Oh, I got you. Sorry, I'm just a patient. Oh, here. gee, I I would have never I I would have never expected that. Yes, that you'd be a patient in a patient's room. Well, this mum looks well off. I was smashed by a mouse. Are you sure you did not smash the mouse instead? Because this seems like a paradox. 
<laughs> I was gonna say. Unless the mouse is seven feet tall. <laughs> in that case, how are you still alive? What? You're here to visit my daughter? So you're the one who calls her in the middle of the night and talks for hours? Oh, uh, it's not you. Then why'd you come to this room? I don't know, because I'm controlled by a couple of idiots. <laughs> <laughs> I like to explore. I just love to explore, I guess. I can't help it. That's my RPG... You yes, know. Of course, of course you'll be in a town. You want to explore everything of it. Yeah, okay, I'm not going also, near you guys. Okay, here's the thing. I noticed before that your uh, uh, magic points, quote unquote, have reached zero. So you basically need to. Yeah, go sort that out. Also, butterfly! Go chase the butterfly. What? We were told before that the butterflies are magic. Yes, I will, I will do that. What? You want to meet our boss, Frank? He's in the backyard of the game arcade, thinking about peace and love. You might want to visit him. Sure, let's do that. Bef uh, after we after we catch the butterfly. Yay! Come back here. Ooh, oh, what just happened? What is it doing? The magic butterfly made Potsy relax. Oh, she's killing us with poison. <laughs> uh, uh, what did that accomplish? Check out the stats bar. Yeah, we will do. Uh, oh. Oh, we got PP back. Oh, let's go buy a weapon in the drugstore. We could buy weapons in the drugstore. The dog just said that. Yeah, when you when you say it like that, Mad Hog, you say it, you make you make it sound know, so convincing. I know, I know what it sounded like, but just go with it. <laughs> there are a lot of snakes and stray dogs around on it. Is the mayor going to let them just run around doing whatever they want? I'm here what to you, protest. What do you mean? I what do you mean? I killed them all just yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> I'm here to protest. But he's very good at ignoring me. <laughs> you know, like the guy from Grimoire, Detec Detective Grimoire. Yeah. Okay, uh... Oh, how about you, Mr. Men in Black? I'm in a really foul mood. That's why I'm smiling. Why? Because the mayor doesn't like me! Notice me, Mayor Senpai! <laughs> oh, Notice God, this me! I think I'll just kick back for a while. Uh, it, may, it just may take me a couple of hours to sign this paper. <laughs> oh, oh, look at that guy. <laughs> oh, aren't you, Patsy? It's a school holiday today. Have you done your homework? Remember to uh, brush your teeth before going to bed. Have you thank been... you. Thank you, Uncle Stranger. Have you been wet in your bed? What the? Let's go away. Let's, yes. Let's, let's, what, what the weirdos? This city is... I swear, this town is full of weirdos. Yes, I know, right? Everyone is a pedophile waiting to happen. Some suspicious looking kids are hanging out in the woods north of the library. I want if they are members of the Sharks. To stop the spread of the gang, someone should shut down their gathering places. Don't you think? Uh, I started a movement that will stop all the bad influences on the children of Onnit. Oh, yo. You're one of those people. Uh, she's a soccer mom, I believe it's the technical term. I call it the Fresh Breeze Movement, humdi dum -de dum So you call it the Fresh Breeze Movement, hum -de dum -de dum <laughs> Is that the complete name, or is is, is it an acronym? Or is... Did I tell you that I saw a giant aim one time at the giant stab? <sighs> oh, sorry, I did not mean to spoil it for you. I did and mean. Oh, have you noticed the pun there? <laughs> the awful, awful pun. I think so. Uh, I work for City Hall, but somehow Mayor Perkle bugs me. Let's give this between you and me, yeah? I, did, I didn't vote for him anyway. We don't have any openings for part time employees at the time. He's 10! <laughs> uh, can we see the mayor? The mayor's office is on the second floor. You need an appointment before you visit. I'm going to have to stop you if you try to see the mayor. Oh yeah? Try and stop that. Oh. Oh. The mayor is busting his butt with all the troubles in town. Like the sharks and the meteorite. Hey, are you the guy who's trying to reform the sharks? What? No, it's not me. It's someone else. What did I do? I had nothing to do with this. Waha waha waho! Uh, oh, watch out, he's turning into Mario! I thought it was turning. I thought it was. Woohoo! Woohoo! I didn't know how it was gonna be Krusty the Clown. You've got to be kidding! Whoa, whoa, whoa. You've got to be kidding! Scram! 
Okay. I guess okay, so I guess we can't see, Mr. Okay, uh, okay, see us at the bar. Let's go to the drugstore, retrieve some money from our bank account, and buy a more decent equipment. Yes, we will do that. Uh, let's see. Drugstore is on the other side, I yeah. think. Yes. Maybe it's up there. Oh, it's up there. Yes, it's up here. Okay, so... Uh, ATM machine back. is up there. I was gonna see how much it costs first. Okay, so, uh, let's see, should I check it? Oh, Welcome good. to the automatic teller machine, please select the action. $108. Uh, t take everything. Okay, we just, we just, we're broke now. Uh... Yes? Uh, cold remedy, nothing. Oh. Let's try asking uh, this other guy then. Oh, okay. Uh, mm, oh, yeah! Oh, T-ball bat. Ooh, t -ball. A yo-yo. We can get a baseball Sheep. cap for better defense. Okay, um, okay, take... Oh. Yes. Yes, take, okay, take the T-ball bat. Okay. Yes. Yes, yes we, equip. Yes, yes. we got more attack power now. Stupendous. Yes, uh, uh, yes. Oh, this is very convenient. Okay, sell the cracked butt. But nine dollars. Better than nothing. Yes, uh, let's buy the hat now. Baseball cap and a cheap bracelet. But the baseball cap would be better. If... For now. Yes. Yeah, just put on a baseball cap on over the top of our that... actual hat. Yeah, that makes us automatically awesome. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I don't think we I need it. I think we're good for now. Okay. Yeah. Now, save the game. Okay, we're gonna I wait. I know it cost you a dollar, but by saving the game also, your dad will be depositing more money in your bank account because your dad's pockets are apparently limitless. He gave us six dollars. I think. Mm. Record. Uh, your dear old dad was also thinking about hitting the hay for the night. It's, 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 dad, it's, it's nine o'clock in the morning. Maybe he's on the other side of the planet, for all you know. Yeah, I in could. The case, in the case, these intercontinental phones calls are really cheap. Yeah, I wish they were that cheap for me. Anyway, um, I want to try fighting the ninja again. You mean, the, the, when you say ninjas, you mean the... The 90s jizzed all over kids. <laughs> the, the, the 90s alien punk kids, or whatever they're supposed to be. Jeez. Okay. Well, he came to meet us. What? The... <laughs> we have someone on a jackhammer. This is the jackhammer. Why? Pogo punk. Oh, okay. Uh, get to the skate punk first. Yes, because he seems like the fastest one. Oh my gosh, these guys are so powerful. Okay, uh, cure yourself. Yes, yeah, so... I. Did you say kill myself? Oh no, I said cure yourself. Okay, please. Yes, he became tame. Nice. Uh, what? You tamed a human being! I mean, took you burgers from them! You tamed a human being! Yes. <laughs> what is wrong with you? Also, see how much difference a change in equipment can do? Yes, I definitely can see. Alright, so uh, let's enter the pizzeria. Open no, soon. Mac Pizza. Okay. Uh, okay, what is... Oh, more ninja. Ninja. Yes. Quote, I call them ninja for convenience sake. Oh. Uh, who... Oh, no, not check. Oh, oh, the road's closed again. It's on its claim to fame. Closing off roads is this city's claim to fame. How sad. The road to Tucson is closed. You can't just squeeze through roadblocks either. All it is famous for Roblox. Wow, that is really sad. It's also kind of funny. It's a, it is kind of funny as a recurring gag. <laughs> yeah. To think of it. <laughs> it's all. It's commenting on the futility and pointlessness that society tend to obsess over. It's a critique of modern consumer society, really. It's like the largest ball of twine in Simon Max, a celebration of futility 
and human stupidity. <laughs> anyway, roadblocks. Don't talk right, to me. So, I'm on duty. Okay, so actually we know what, what we need to do. We technically need to go over to Giant Step and kill some giant ant. Yeah. Apparently. But before that, let's actually go meet with the leader of the local gang that we've been hinted at before. Let's go to the game arcade. Yeah, until I have Chief Strong's permission, I can't let you through. You mean strong bads in this game? Chief Strong bads. Nah, I, I would love that. <laughs> that would be great. That would be awesome. I heard there's a guy who stops to read each bulletin board he encounters. Then he says, Chekaruni, is that you? Might as well be. Road to Tucson. Okay, okay, enough reading stupid billboards. We are completely enabling that crazy guy that lives up north. Okay, I'm just going to leave you now. No, no. Uh, he was fast. Wait, it was that a black face? Uh. From a distance, it looked like a black face. That's a bit concerning. I would hope that's not the case, to be honest. I would hope too. Because all it just is is just a black mask with... Hey, we found a hamburger from the guy's corpse. <laughs> How nice. Oh, I think that's where we need to yeah, go. Yeah, the game. Okay, we're gonna sneak oh, by. Look, oh, look, look, it's a different truck. <laughs> it's oh. a different truck. It was red. Oh, uh... No problem here. What if I want to play the arcade machine? That's what I want to do. Okay, can you go, uh, okay, go bother the guy up the, oh. It was you! You beat up my body, didn't you? Uh, I was attacked first. You'd better just beat it. I was attacked first! I did it in self-defense! Oh, he got us. Ah, um, come on. You better cure yourself, you better eat something. Yes, will do. Okay, we got 50 experience, and we got another hamburger for our troubles. Oh, now we're level 5. Great. Yay! Try not to die now. Alright, uh, let's get to the... Uh, how do I get to the... Oh! That's the map. I did not we... realize I could do that. Hey, look, it's the hint house. <laughs> there, the all important hint house. <laughs> yes, we're all here in the hint house. Okay, let's let's eat a hamburger. Well, let's see. When you eat it, you recover about 50 HP. Oh, that's 100 percent beef. 100 percent beef. I doubt it. How much does this give me? Six HP. Oh, let's eat that one. Yeah, so let's eat the yep. cookies. Okay, let's talk to that guy that's guarding the double doors. Maybe he let us in without uh, so much as a fuss. Hey, kid, do you want to become a member? Wanna be a member? Wanna be a member? Wanna be a member? Yes, yes, I do wanna be a member. Wanna be a member? Yes, definitely. Let's say yes. <laughs> let's see what happens. Let's let's join the lamest gang in the neighborhood. Do we, okay, come on, are we are, are we gonna be that uncool? Are we that those guys? We're going to get a side quest out of this, so I wouldn't sneer on it immediately. Come back after you finish Earthbound. Are you? Kidding me? Are I you serious? Uh 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 huh uh huh. You sound like a real whiner to me. Don't get the bee or I'll kick you out. Thank you, Johnny Bravo. <laughs> well, he was going. Oh ho ho ho. Oh man. Oh. Frank has an incredibly powerful weapon. If you get your hands on it, I bet you can stand against any enemy. Okay, so this is basically a secret of where for once you end the game. When you buy an item that should be equipped, do you bother to actually equip it? Yeah, no, look, I just leave it there in my inventory, never looking at it. <laughs> what do you think, you genius? Heh, <laughs> I gave a hint to my own enemy. I'm such a rocket dude. Okay, you know what, let's leave this losers down and let's go to Giant Step and kill the giant ant or whatever. Oh. Also, apparently we're engaging in battle now. And we just beat him. Simple as. Well, that was not challenging at all. Okay. Alright, so far so good, I guess. We're just really beat, laying the beat down on their members, apparently. Yeah, laying the smack it down. <laughs> oh, come on. 
They just, they came for me. <laughs> Stupid purple. The, the, oh my gosh, I just figured it out. He's purple guy. He's responsible for for all those murders in Five Nights at Freddy's. <laughs> let's, let's kill him. He's called Yes Man Jr. <laughs> Oh, so it, it, this is the real identity of the purple guy, Yes Man Jr. We <laughs> cracked the code. That was a much of a mystery, to be, to either, be honest. <laughs> I, either that, or this is the purple guy's son. <gasps> the plot thickens. <laughs> he laughs hysterically about it. <laughs> oh, I get it. It must be the son of one of the Joker moms. <laughs> oh, gosh. Okay, let's get going. Oh, no, okay, now wait, get get hit by a truck. <laughs> it's a different one. I don't think we're gonna get hit by that particular truck. Oh. Oh, where is a truck when you need it? <laughs> God damn it, kid! I'm trying to drive here! I'm trying to see if... Because we can't get in the back of there, can we? No, apparently we can't. Oh, anyway, okay, what? let's just go to the... Uh... Actually, before that, go save the game again. <laughs> well, we're gonna be wasting all our dollars on this. Oh, yeah, because two dollars is such what a... The? What the? Hey, kid. What's kid. with the phone? Hello, it's your dad. What you've the? You've been out there for a long time now. It may be none of my business, but don't you think it would be a good idea if you took a break? Uh... No? Ah, I see. Well, it doesn't make me happy, but I understand your point about the fate of the world being at stake. Click, beep. So... Okay, okay. First of all, where does the phone call come from? Because I'm pretty sure they did not have cell phones back then. Well... First. And secondly... Okay, I just love to imagine this, if this child had an actual cell phone, he just answered it in the middle of the road, while the van behind him would just... God damn kid, move on the road! Hey, a moment there, I'm on a phone call, this is really important. <laughs> <laughs> in the middle of the road, what a douchebag! <laughs> this, is just, this is just great. Okay. Oh, is there more food in, in the trash can? Okay. By any chance? Let's see. <laughs> a potsy dagger around the trash can. There was just a plain old garbage in the trash can. Yes, just mm -hmm. plain old everyday garbage. Let's eat it. Okay, giant step. I think it's over yeah, there. Yeah, it's, it's up here. It's up, way. it's up yes. this way. All right. Oh, look, it's Big Pen again. Oh, can we actually fight that freaking diglet now? I am not your enemy. Oh, oh it's Mr. Rossetti from Animal Crossing! I was thinking of that! Let's bash him in the head! <laughs> I am simply your average run-of-the-mill mole. That can talk. Would you like some hints on fighting enemies? Yes? Listen carefully. My hint involves which way you are facing when a battle with an enemy occurs. If you allow enemies to approach you from your back or side, they may get a surprise opening attack. Oh! When they approach you, this your TV screen... No, no. I mean, the world in front of you will show a red swirl for a second. Oh. Yeah, I saw so, that. Uh, this is one of those JRPGs. Yeah. I kind of gathered that from the way the things looked. The transition. On the other hand, if you approach the enemy from the back or side, you may get a surprise opening attack. In that case, your TV... Whoops! Sat again. Ah ha ha! It's funny because we're casually breaking the fourth wall. We're being so meta-textual. Isn't that refreshingly humorous? <laughs> the world of... I'm pretty sure this was considered... Uh... Innovative in 1994. Yeah... The point is, try to fight so that you always have the advantage. Like this! We use you as a shield! Bye! <laughs> yes. Giant step. Yeah, north at the top of the mountain. Danger, do not enter. You're not my mom! What the heck? Oh, hello there, toy soldiers, guys. <laughs> this shack was locked by someone from City Hall, so we can't use it. The 
reason it was closed was cause a punk named Frank may have trashed the place. What Whoa. a drag. We can't even change our clothes and hotels are too expensive. I heard there's a big footprint on the hilltop behind this shack. I haven't seen it myself, it's just a rumor. A rumor! Traveling entertainer's shack. The door is locked. Mm. Yeah, the big do not enter side. Yes, it's trespassers will be mutilated. Okay, so we cannot get through unless we go to City Hall first. But apparently we have to deal with this prank guy. Who is behind the arcade. Yeah. Which we can only access after we beat the game. That seems a bit counterintuitive. <laughs> I'm starting to get the strange feeling the the gang member is telling a bit of porkies about Psst, whisper, whisper, psst, psst, shh, what if someone overhears us? Right, whisper, psst, psst, wah, you jerk. Because, he he he, he. I don't think we should have been overhearing that. <laughs> yeah. I have, the I have the strange feeling that, um, that we are not supposed to overhear that. Yes. <laughs> the flowers in the garden are representative of those in your heart. Oh. Treat them both nice. Spread on the flowers, let's kill them all! Ah, die, flowers! Die, die, die! <laughs> <laughs>